what technological invention will have a massive impact on humanity. While not an unknown technology, deepfake is still in its infancy, and it terrifies me. We already live in a time when people take irrefutable video evidence and somehow find ways to rationalize away what they are seeing. People don't listen to science anymore, and the truth has become frighteningly subjective. Think of all the videos of police shootings, slash political scandals, slash whistleblowers, slash assassinations, and more. Now add in a technology that has the potential to create doubt about the validity of what we're seeing. It's a perfect tool to create chaos and discord. Politicians will use it to create confusion and doubt. To sow fear, they will create false narrative and delegitimize their opponents, or to cast doubt on crimes and acts they have committed. Something that was once impossible to rationalize away will become yet another misinformation tool and an engine to sow doubt. Did you know that they have developed implants which can grow with you? Meaning that kids with faulty heart valves or damaged organs which require a synthetic element can undergo just one surgery as they are young and never have to have further surgeries for replacement as they grow. My housemate is a chemical engineer and she told me all about it, I thought it was interesting. Breast implants that can grow with you just made me think of ladies at the retirement home a hundred years from now with absolute watermelons, so thanks for that image. Low pressure solar powered drip irrigation systems. Some more information from MIT. Drip irrigation delivers water through a piping network to drip emitters that release the water directly at the base of the crops, avoiding water losses due to evaporation, runoff, and infiltration. Drip can reduce water consumption by 20 to 60 percent compared to conventional flood irrigation and has been shown to increase yields by 20 to 50 percent for certain crops. Because irrigation accounts for over 70 percent of fresh water use in most regions of the world, large scale adoption of drip irrigation would reduce use the consumption of fresh water and be an asset for locations around the world experiencing water shortages and groundwater depletion. Lab-grown meat Meat has a huge impact on our environment, not to mention that lab-grown meat can be made a bit more healthy for you and ultimately way cheaper. And of course, we're all suffering through COVID because someone wanted to eat a live bat. Lithium sulfur batteries are in development right now and could make battery storage much cheaper than current lithium ion and lithium polymer batteries. Lower cost batteries mean more people can afford to use them. That means more internal combustion engines replaced with electric motors. While I'm at it, battery recycling. Every element in a battery can be extracted and recycled into new batteries, especially the lithium. A former founding member of Tesla has actually already opened a plant to do just that. The future of energy is bright. My bet is on CRISPR, a genetic technology that enables DNA modification on live organisms at a very low cost. Sadly, I cannot predict whether the impact will be positive or not. I am no geneticist, but did study CRISPR and GM generally through undergrad. My read on it is that it'll have huge impacts on food and medicine. A few things may go south, people will resist it, but eventually it will become normal. I say this because GM is already helping third world communities hugely, but in the West it's viewed as dangerous or even satanic. My old uni, Bristol, was actually bombed because they were working on early genetically modified tomatoes. The benefit of protecting crops from blight and changing global climate conditions is too great to ignore. In short, people will like it more when they start going hungry. The invention of hypersonic missiles started an arms race not seen since the Cold War, and nobody seems to care. Batteries containing nuclear waste, encased in synthetic diamond, supposedly can go thousands of years without charge and are perfectly safe, currently being trialed in the UK. Beta voltaics. There are more of energy harvesters than batteries, but being able to last hundreds of years is really cool for some things. They don't put out much power though, so they are pretty niche. Any kind of advance in batteries and the ability to store electrical energy. A huge portion of electronic devices are limited because of how much battery power it would require, and that's a field which has become largely stagnant. There are a few promising things out there, but nothing actively in development. But such an advance in technology would unlock the potential of technology that already exists, but is currently impractical. I'm not just talking about smartphones, but any device that runs on a battery, particularly electric cars. Printed human skin and organs. 
energy storing smart bricks that could one day turn the walls of our houses into batteries. That's really cool, especially how it changes the bricks blue. I can see the ad campaign now. Blue brick batteries, what's in your wall sockets? Long distance wireless electricity transport, space solar panels, here we come. I can see Dyson swarms with maser power transmitters. Technically possible with existing technology too. You only have to consume like all of mercury for the resources required. So what good is mercury doing us? Mind that be. I can see all the astrologists weeping oceans of tears right now. How can mercury be in retrograde now? We haven't invented it yet. If you study the last three big technological leaps forward, they were all preceded by discovering a new, denser method of energy storage. Coal and the steam engine led to the industrial revolution. Oil and the combustion engine led to the modern revolution. Fission and water reactors led to another energy revolution. We have the technology for cleaner energy via solar and wind. It's not carbon neutral because you never get the energy out of the thing that goes into making it, but it sure can put a dent in carbon emissions, so it's better than nothing. What we lack is the capacity to store it at a 99.9% .9 efficiency rate. We need a storage slash battery revolution before the next big energy revolution is possible. Maybe they'll figure out a super dense and efficient battery out of graphene or carbon nanotubes. Who knows? Another stopgap would be some sort of thorium or liquid sodium reactor, but we lack the will to fund the research. BCI, brand computer interfaces, have been used to control games with your mind, speak to another person telepathically, and make prosthetic limbs be controlled easier. CBI, computer brain interfaces, have been used to make a blind person regain their sight through camera glasses and make monkeys feel things in VR that weren't there. If we perfect both of these, we could do a lot. Google Neuralink and see what Elon's up to in this space. I feel like SpaceX being able to reuse rockets doesn't get enough attention. Costs for getting stuff into space will go down, meaning more possible space stations or even building a mega structure one day. 3D printing at home. Imagine downloading the blueprints of whatever you need, customizing it and having it printed overnight into your hands. What is now a hobby will soon be a common household tool that is actually very useful. Honestly, I think augmented reality. Virtual reality gets all the love and attention. It's great for entertainment and in some business applications, showing a concept or allowing someone to check something out remotely. All big things that will really change stuff. But the real big change will be augmented reality. Can you imagine having info pop up in your field of view as needed? Working on your car? The AR system recognizes all the components and you can pull up info about each part, how to unbolt it, how to replace it, ways to order it, ways to diagnose issues. It can pull up info about every piece of machinery you can see. Hungry? Look down the street and see the reviews and menus for everything in your view. At a party? Facial recognition will tell you who's who, also tell you background info on them. Performing surgery? You can see notes prepared ahead of time without leaving the room, and so on. The fact you can overlay info, pictures, videos, text, etc. over the real world is awesome. We aren't going to hide inside on VR glasses our whole lives, as long as we survive COVID. Thanks for supporting Ask Planet.